Oh dear, you've got a gurgly belly, haven't you? Poof, like a lion. Ridiculous. <sighs> Morning, guys. I wish we'd have just filmed that because that was hilarious. Basically, I was doing my normal intro saying, hey, it's Monday the, and I couldn't think of the date. And he said, it's the 28th. I was like, it's not the 28th. And I know this because I keep looking at the date that my Zara haul video went up, which was the 20th. So today is the 21st. So we've got our dates wrong because we've just got dressed up. Well, someone's got very dressed up, haven't they? Look at this. Gucci loafs, <laughs> Burberry shirt, Burberry suit, all dressed up. We booked it together last week. And now, we're, now, now he's blaming me. So we were supposed to be going for lunch That's at the Gherkin. Well, it's going to be in next week's vlog, isn't it? Supposed to be going for lunch today in the Gherkin because they've got this nice restaurant which normal people can go to now, non-members. So he said last week, oh, let's book this. It looks really cool. They do gin and stuff. Well, I don't drink, so that doesn't apply to me. So anyway, we booked in. We did book it together, although in all fairness, I was not looking at the date. And we've only gone and booked it for next week. And he's got, he spent all morning getting dressed up. I've been rushing around. Do you know, I've been rushing around trying to do all my depopping because of this. That's your fault. Why did you... Yesterday we were talking about dates. And you were like... I was saying, look, like when we were looking at different things, look, it's only this day. And you were like, yeah. Ridiculous. Something to look forward to for next week, he says. Oh, that stressed me out now. Right, well, I mean, I'll show you what I've got on. <laughs> Since as I've dressed. I've just rushed to shower, rushed my hair, it's not even waved, it's just straight and blah. I've got like an outfit on, Got I even put my bloody shoes on. He spent all morning doing his hair and faffing about. Ridiculous. Anyway, this is what I've got on, which I'm going to take off in about five minutes. This is the pearly embellished sweater from Zara from the haul. Uh, my usual jewellery, which I'll link in the description box below. I'll always link everything. The mom jeans from Zara. Gucci bag and my Gucci loafers, because Simon had his Gucci loafers on as well. So I was like the navy lady today, wearing this get up. And now I'm just gonna probably go get changed back into my sweats again. <sighs> right. You've had to get changed, haven't you? Yeah, so instead of being nice and dressed up in a lovely restaurant having lunch, we're now going in the muddy woods. Yeah, we've both got changed. Excuse the mess of the bedroom. Both got changed. I'm in my sweatpants. I can't believe you've done that. I didn't bloody do it. That was your fault. It was you just this Monday and you said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's because I didn't book it. You booked it. <sighs> And you said, what are you doing on Monday? I said, I had one meeting in the morning which ended up getting cancelled. And then you were like, oh, okay, so let's book it for after that then. You were a week ahead. Stupid. You're stupid. Okay. These guys want to go out. Should we go in the woodlings? Yeah, before it rains. Come on then. Right, let's try again, shall we? So we've just been out with the dogs in the woods. You all got nice and muddy, didn't you? Huh? Yeah, nice and muddy. So I've got changed again, almost wearing the same thing. Um, we're gonna just go to Blue Water. Pardon? Jeans and a sweater, actually, because it's a bit nippy today. Yeah, he's taking the piss. Right, so, will you just shush so I can run through this for two seconds? You can carry on ridiculing me in a minute. Gucci bag, 
Jigsaw Biker, best biker ever. Uh, Zara Stripey Thin Knit, Zara Mom Jeans, and Gucci Loafs. Uh, necklace, as always. Um, yeah, so, got changed. Gonna go to Blue Water to just do some bits. I need some underwear. What else do we need to do? Oh, we're gonna get some food. You, that, whatever that was didn't work because you were behind me. Uh, you'll notice he's got a hat on now as well, which is, uh, annoying. But because we've just been in the woods, it was really, like, damp. And so now my hair has gone poof, like a lion. <laughs> Honestly, where has he gone? I've literally just gone into one shop and cannot find him. Oh my god, I found him. This is where he is. Hello. <laughs> what have you got? Oh my god, what? Huh? What a sunny start to the day. Right, it is now Wednesday and today I'm just heading to the train station because I've got two meetings. Um, I feel like kind of want to show you guys not in great detail but kind of vaguely what we mean when we say we're going to meetings because it's not what you think we're not sat around you know a boardroom table <laughs> um, when we say we're going to a meeting and when I mean we I mean bloggers it tends to mean that we are just going for some kind of food or beverage <laughs> with a PR and it's just a nice catch-up it's a way you know for us to maintain relationship with certain brands or even to be introduced to new brands and yeah we get free food so naturally this one big fan right guys so first on the list today is ivy in soho i think i'm gonna have the pancakes they're literally my fave Right guys, so this is what I've ordered, obviously, <laughs> the pancakes, but I've offset it with a healthy juice. And then we've got, what is this? Granola. No, that doesn't look... Greek yogurt and fruit. Oh, Greek yogurt and fruit. I'll have this one, thanks. <laughs> right guys, I've got some time to kill before my next meeting. So I've been to Topshop for me, and then look, bought Simon one of those ridiculous hats. No one can say that I don't love him. I'm gonna surprise him with that one later. On to meeting number two, and I'm at the Landry, which I just rather embarrassingly called Villain Dry. So I'm just deciding on what to eat. So I've just finished two meetings in London. As usual, come away with shopping bags. Um, I just had a Diet Coke and some fries in my second meeting because I was still full from the bloody pancakes. Now I'm heading home, surprise Simon with his new hat. And yeah, I've got some more depopping to do, so I'm gonna go and do that. What are you sat on my chair for? I didn't give you permission to sit on Bernard. Well, I got you a little gift. <laughs> really? No. I don't know if you were taking the piss by trying that on because it's got, oh, look at that straight on. <laughs> no messing about. I don't, were you actually taking the piss by trying that on because it's got gold on it or do you genuinely like it? Look at that, that's very special, isn't it? Thank you. Oh. That's your employee of this month present. Bonus. Yeah, that's your bonus. Like it? No, I think it's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but so long as you're happy, Buttercup. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Doing the uh, thumbnail, or as you like to call it, the JPEG. Mm. Tonight's vlog. What are you doing? Very cool. Well, I do feel a little bit bad because 
he did buy me this awesome hat today while he was out. But you're very busy working, so I don't want to disturb you. So I don't know whether I should tell you that your parcel came or not. My birthday bag. Your birthday bag. When? But about 10 minutes ago when you was in the garden. But I'm not going to tell you where it is until you finish doing your work. <gasps> what? So yeah, that's why I feel a little bit bad because you got me the hat. But once you've finished your work, you can have your birthday bag. You didn't even piss it <laughs> buy it. I bought it for myself. You better hurry up and finish your job. Oh finish your work. man, you drive a hard ship. It's drive it. a hard, you sail a hard ship. Then you can try and find it because it's hidden somewhere. Oh, Jesus. You all finished? Yeah, just waiting for five o'clock now. Finished your work, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so the rules of the game are... Oh, my birthday your, bag! Your birthday bag, yeah. Let me do, wait, let me do my jeans. You up. have five minutes to find it. If you find it, you can keep it. If you don't find it, it's lost forever. No. That's the, okay. rule, that's the rules of the game. <laughs> that, those rules are shit. Ready, set, go. Well, don't I even get a fucking clue? No. Nope. <laughs> I'm not going to be up here. She's getting colder. It's in a big box. It's not going to be in that drawer, is it? Wally. Do I get to say hot or cold? No. Look at this frantic hunting. It's getting really, really cold now. That's so cold. That couldn't be you any colder. Put it outside. Couldn't be any oh, colder. Oh, you can put it in the basement. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> seconds to spare. Lucky. <laughs> Uh, almost lost forever that was. You will have to pry this out of my dead Nearly lost hand. forever. Yes! Okay, so if you have seen any of my previous vlogs, I think it was two vlogs ago. Basically, it took me about six months to decide on buying this bag. And then because it was my birthday two weeks ago, I thought, yep, I'll buy it. But I wanted to buy it pre-loved or second hand so I bought it a girl was selling one on Vestiaire it was almost brand new she'd used it once it was immaculate so I bought it a week later Vestiaire emailed me and said the order had been cancelled because the seller said it was no longer available Ugh, I hate that so I was left with no birthday bag because I decided to buy it for my birthday as a treat and then it was rudely taken away from me. So I decided to buy it at full price. And here it is. So in last week's vlog, I went to Selfridges and I tried on two different bags. And oh, look at that packaging. It's like they know it's my birthday bag. Tried on two different bags and had some thinking time and finally decided on which one to buy. And that is what I'm unboxing. So I bought it from my Teresa, all with my own money. No discounts, sadly, no discount codes. Yeah! Thank you, you're welcome. You have all of my money. So this is the dust bag, so that should give you an indication of which one I decided to go for. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da, that dust, oh, a dust bag within a dust bag. I was going to say, that dust bag's a bit shit. Here she is. Oh! This is the Loewe, Loewe, la la. Puzzle bag in size small in tan leather. Mm, yeah, it's very nice. So I did decide on the small one in the end and actually now I'm on the hunt for a scarf to wrap around the handle. Isn't she pretty? I love her. I'm going to name her Judith. Hello, hi guys. 
Where's Daddy? Where's Daddy? What are you doing? Just put my new hat away. What? <laughs> and what you try? Is that the same hat? Thanks and thanks. Why have you got it on though? Just, just for memories. Yeah, I've worn this one since Christmas. So. Yeah, maybe it's best we do. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It looks like you've got a sock on your head. Like. <laughs> Around there, and then you're toasty and warm. Oh, no. Yep. Okay. Oh, poor Bumblebee's not feeling very well, are you, darling? Oh, dear. You've got a gurgly belly, haven't you? And I'm very glad he's sat on Daddy's pillow and not Mummy's pillow. <laughs> Oh, are you keeping him company, Bo? You can curl up in such a small little ball, can't you? You can wag your tail. Oh, uh, hello. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday. No, it's not. It's not Wednesday at all. It's Friday. It's Friday morning. It's now almost quarter past nine and I've got a couple of meetings in Central this morning. So I'm just heading to Dean Street now because I'm off to Dean Street Townhouse for the first one. And also, as you can see, it's my first day out using Judith. She's very excited to be here. Right, here we are, location number one for the day. They do such a good breakfast here. So if you're coming to London anytime soon, if you don't live here, definitely want to give this place a go. How cute is this? Look, I've given Judith her own chair. She's got this nice little velvet number. How nice is this? Okay, I'm back from Central. I've got changed because it is so freaking hot outside, which is pretty standard because every time Great Britain has a bank holiday, we have a heat wave. So I have changed. I've dug out my Converse, high tops, Chuck Taylors, I don't know what they're called, they're just the high ones, uh, vintage Levi's shorts, which annoyingly are more frayed on this side than this side. Look, I've got one long fray and then loads. I like this side, I want this side to look like this side. Ugh. Anyway, uh, Saint Laurent tote bag, which I haven't used in ages. Also, navy blazer, which is from Next. It was last season, but they always tend to bring out a very similar navy blazer every season. So I'll, I'll link a similar one below. Basic navy tee, I believe that was from H&M. They do do a good basic. And then both my, I've taken to wearing both of my round pendants. So this is the Monica Venida, and then this one is the Misoma one. Actually, I'm just gonna turn this round, hang on, so we can see them better. Yeah, so this is the Monica Venada one on the Misoma chain. And then both of these charms are Misoma charms. And I love the fact that you can mix and match. You can add loads of charms on one necklace. That's what I love about Misoma. They're so good for doing that sort of thing. So yeah, that is my outfit. We're just gonna head out to get something to eat and have a wander around. And yeah, enjoy the sun before it goes away forever and ever. Well, at least for another two seasons. It's Sunday, Sunday of a bank holiday, and we're just heading out. We're gonna go to lunch, and we're gonna have like a little brainstorming session of all of the suggestions that you guys have given us that you want us to film. So we're gonna run through all of those, see what's actually doable for us to film in the next few weeks, and kind of make up a bit of a plan. But this is what I'm wearing. I say but, so, this is what I'm wearing. Um, so this is a new blazer, obviously, um, from Mango, and it's, I don't know, I don't know how to describe the color. Terracotta, I would say, like a terracotta color. And then it's got these sort of rather old lady buttons, which I love. Um, usual necklaces. Paige, Rosie Huntington Whiteley Basic, Zara Mum Jeans, and my June Rupert Sanderson little flat 
kind of with the heel things. So yeah, that's our plans for Sunday. Oh, and then we're gonna have to come home so that Simon can watch this boxing, fighting, punching match thing, which he's recorded um, because it was on late last night. So fun times, we get to watch that this afternoon. Okay, so for anyone that watched my home tour on Sunday and made a comment that my house is so tidy, check this out. <laughs> this is the carnage of me getting dressed this morning. Clearly, I could not decide what to wear. This happened, we've got washing on there. We've got all that crap over there. Insane. I did decide on an outfit eventually. And now I've put the bedding in the wash. That's all clean and dry over there. So I'm gonna put everything away so that everything is neat and tidy because I cannot go to bed ever, ever with a room looking like this. No, no, I've got my little helpers. Hey guys, you helping? Come on then, help mummy. Help mummy do this. Woohoo, look at that. Clean as a whistle. I don't know where that phrase even comes from. How is a whistle clean? Like, you constantly put your mouth on it. Anyway, nice and clean. This took me about 20 minutes. Everything's clean. Hey guys, I've just done a bit of dusting as well of these things because they are a nightmare with dust. And it's so hot outside today, I've had to open the windows. <sighs> right, job well done. Let's go and see what Simon's up to. By the sounds of it, the boxing has just Started. He's been waiting all day for this. Hello. You coming to watch it now? No, I'm not watching that shite. Are you excited though? No. Ruin it now. I'll just say something. I'm not going to say. I know who's won, guys, because I obviously have been on Twitter, but he has not been on Twitter or YouTube or any kind of social media all morning, so he doesn't know who's won. He's just ordered this on pay-per-view and he's been waiting for ages for the actual fight to come on. Happy as Larry now, aren't you? Very happy. Okay, we're just getting into bed. We've had a productive day. <clears throat> um, we went to the pub earlier, like I told you guys. And we brainstormed, oh, I don't think you're supposed to call it brainstorming anymore. We mind mapped um, lots of ideas for all of our content that we're going to put on YouTube for like the next six weeks or so. So there's lots of cool stuff to come your way. Um, we're very excited to share all that with you. And yeah, bank holiday tomorrow. So I will catch you guys in next week's vlog. Bye.